Yeah, okay, right. No, we're gonna be to the left, up that street. No, up the street that's blocked off. Okay, you guys ready? Uh, ready for Jose? Jose, can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right, perfect. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, questions for Jose? Or, you know, if you have a question, please use the raise hand function within Zoom. We'll call on people individually, beginning with Kelly Quinlan from Rivals. Jose, obviously a very scary moment there in the first half when you bang knees with Wong. Kind of what happened and what, how were you able to get back out there to help your team in the second half? Um, obviously, like you said, it was pretty scary even to me when it hit. It, it hurt it so bad that, um, you know, actually you look, got a little worried. But um, as um, I was walking off and as I was in the training room, um, as uh, my adrenaline kicked in, I mean, calmed down and um, just the pain just went down a little bit. So I knew it wasn't that serious. And we got on, and it, it just, uh, as I walked it off, I was like, right, I want to play. And then that's about it. And when I came in the second half, my knee could hurt, not tomorrow. It can't hurt tomorrow. It can't hurt Saturday. It can hurt Sunday. It can't hurt today, though. It can't, I, tell my, I told myself that. It just can't hurt right now. So uh, I tried to um, dial in, and my, my brothers had my back, and they just, um, you know, made me look good when I was out there. Sorry, next question, Rod McKenzie, 247 Sports. Jose, uh, what changes did you see that Miami made in attacking your zone in that first half to make them so successful? Uh, Miami, man, um, <laughs> they better than what they record. They really good. They, they was going, and they had it going. Um, they're a really good team. Um, uh, they did. Uh, they tapped the gaps, uh, uh, and the guys were making plays. Those guys, um, those point, two point guards was making good plays, and um, um, we just had it. Um, Dial down and um, take pride in defense and try to stop them. And um, that's what we did and got the win. Next question from Alex Glaze from 11 Alive here in Atlanta. Jose, you're a, you're a defensive guy. Just what can you say about that second half defense from uh, from your team? Oh, man, um, good. Uh, we got stops that the stops that we needed to, um, you know, to get the win. Um, we need to focus on more being better on and taking part on defense, especially against a good team at um, playing Virginia tomorrow. But um, we're going to watch film. We're going to get better, and we definitely going to play better defense in the, um, tomorrow. Question from Ken Segura from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Jose, Jose, obviously one of the biggest plays of the game, you tracked down the pass from Michael. Can you describe kind of what happened first? Like when you saw it, I imagine you're thinking, oh, you know, I got to go get it. But what happened on that play, you know, from your perspective? Uh, what, uh, what play? Uh, Michael was inbounding from the side. Uh, oh, about, okay. Yeah, and you tried to give it to Bubba. Oh, the train. Oh, um, hey, uh, it, it was the, that press. We needed to. Uh, they got us off, off guard, and we need to be better on it. And um, um, that's about it. We just it was just more about being better. And I'm glad we just finished how we finished. When you saw Michael throw and you saw bouncing out of bounds, were you worried it was gonna you weren't gonna be able to get to it in time? Uh, no, nah, I just um. I, I just saw the ball and I was like, I gotta take off. And uh, Bubba just go, uh, did a good job of saying he's trailing, he's trailing me. And um, I knew once I got, I could throw it to him. Next question from Jeff Schultz from the Athletic. Yeah, I know, Jose. You're, I mean, hustle plays are not uncommon for you, but but can you just talk about? And it kind of goes to that play a little bit. How much um, this season and this tournament? means means to you i know you spoke about it the other day just wanted at least one one game in this tournament and kind of what it means to you it's, oh man it's special uh, this is my first game um winning an acc tournament for, since i've been here four years obviously um it's special down and miami's a good team um this is a good win for us on you know we've been um sitting down for a while and they, they got their little mojo going so it was a good game to win and a good game to play um I'm just glad I got, I, I got my, I, we got our first win here. And um, we just got to focus on Virginia on Friday because it's going to be tough. Next question, Danny Thompson from Three Point Conversion. Jose, Danny Thompson with a Three Point Conversion. Great game today. Of course, you know, Isaiah, Isaiah Wong is one of the best scorers in the ACC. And you held him the three of 10 shooting. Uh, you're also ACC Defensive Player of the Year. But at what point in your development did you realize that you're a shutdown defensive type of player? Uh, I, I want to say when I was um, playing guys in the park, because I swear those are the most talented guys I ever played against him down in New York in the park. They handle their uh, rhythm. They, and, you know, um, I just I just hate when I said this before, I just hate when they look at me when they score or 
uh, when they, you know, pump their chest like me. And uh, I just don't like that. Personally, I take it like, you know, like I take it personal. And um, I'm just like I, every day I'm going to come in and try to be the best defender on the floor, I'm trying to shut down the best player. Uh, and um, I, that's just my mindset every game. Another question, Brad McKenzie, 247 Sports. Hey, Jose. Uh, Jordan was sort of quiet in the first half. Did uh, you know, What was said in the, in the locker room and, and what got him fired up in that second half? Oh, man, um, he's, a, he's a big part of why we won today. His energy, his voice, his, uh, his playmaking um, decision out there, man. Um, he did a really good job. Um, well, when we first came in on halftime, um, we, we got um, – Coach Patrick gave it to us and he told us the truth, like, we got to, we playing soft. They they playing way better than us, and we just got to go out there and play George Tech basketball. And and Jordan um Usher stepped up and um he did what he's supposed to do. And look, he's the reason why we pro he's one of the reasons why we won today. And uh, I'm glad he's on my team, and like we got to keep him going. Okay, we'll have time for uh, three more. We'll start with one from Kelly Quinlan. Jose, you, you know, there's a lot said about sort of the top six guys, but it seemed like your bench came up really big tonight um, and, and gave you guys a lot of spark, particularly Rodney and Bubba and um, and Kyle even when he came in. Can you kind of just talk about those guys? You know, they don't get a lot of press, but they, they came up big for you guys tonight. Big, big time. Like, I'm glad you even mentioned that because I should have said that with the first time coming on here. Those guys did a really good job, man. They stepped up when we needed them the most. And, hey, um, without them, we wouldn't be in this situation without them. And they just did a hell of a job. Um, Kyle, man, he's getting better every day. Rodney getting better every day. And Bubba, man, he just – he comes in when we need him the most. And them three guys, they did a really good job. Uh, next one comes from Jeff Schultz from The Athletic. Sorry about that. Uh, Jose, I know you've been playing on a bad hamstring in general, and then you hurt your knee uh, late in the first half. And it looked like it, late in the game, you also went down with a bad ankle. How do you feel right now, and, and how can you stand up? <laughs> uh, man, I can't get a break, right? But um, I thank God I'm only 22, I guess, right? So I, my body's a little, you know, it's still getting banged up, but it's okay. Um, I'm just uh, on the mindset – Ever since I was a kid, um, uh, my like I just want to play so bad. So my body could hurt later on. It just can't hurt right then. Then I just that's my mindset. Like, you know, obviously I hurt my knee pretty bad today, but um, <laughs> tomorrow I'm act like I got a brand new knee. It's just something I just I am. I, I can't. It can't hurt during the game because there's no excuses on the game. And I obviously I, I take pride on defense. And um, if they somebody scores, it's not because I'm hurt. No, because I need to play defense. So I just gonna um take get recovery today and um, try to do the best I can and just play the game tomorrow. I'm just curious, how many, uh, how many different ice bags are you going to have on uh, if you don't already? Oh, man, I, I think I need an ice bath. I think I need to, uh, <laughs> you know, get one of those, uh, a portable one. But um, they, um, my, um, Rich is going to do a good job um, taking care of me, um, and I'm just going to get the most treatment I can and, and try to get, and get my body ready for tomorrow. And final question for Jose from Ken Segura. Um, Jose, you mentioned coach was saying you guys are soft and I'm wondering like, you know, the Wake Forest game, you know, I think some of the guys are nervous just because kind of the stakes were, were higher. And was it kind of the same sort of thing today where it was just a new environment? You needed to kind of get in a rhythm before you did you, maybe the first time. Oh, he's not more nervous. I think, um, you know, like, um, uh, like when you take a little break and then you got to come out and play against a team that's in a little more of a rhythm. I mean, it's no excuse. We got to come out and play. But um, I think that's what, what happened. Um, I think uh, we were sitting down too long, and we are more of a team that likes to be in rhythm and keep going. But um, I'm glad, like I said, I'm just glad we got a good win against a good team today. And we got that little, that little rusty um, stuff out, and um, we play tomorrow and we'll play against a really good team.